Welcome everyone. I hope you all are doing great. In this project, we will see the Bluetooth home automation simulation in Proteus software. This project demonstrates how to control home appliances using an Arduino Uno and a Bluetooth module HC05. We will go through the circuit connections, coding, and working of this project in detail. Additionally, I will also explain how to connect the Bluetooth module in Proteus software to make the simulation work properly. So stay tuned and let's get started. Now let's first take a look at the components used in this project. One, Arduino Uno. This is the main microcontroller board used in this project. You can also use any other Arduino board like Arduino Mega or Arduino Nano. Two, Bluetooth module HC05. This module is used for wireless communication between the Arduino and a smartphone or other Bluetooth enabled devices. It allows us to control the loads remotely. Push buttons. I have used four push buttons as input switches to control different loads. Four relays. There are four relays used to control the output loads. You can also use a four channel relay module for easy connections. Five, loads. Various electrical loads are connected to the relays, including a light, a DC motor, an LED, another DC motor. These loads will be controlled through Bluetooth communication and manual control using our Arduino board. Let's take a look at the connections in this project. Part push button connections. I have used four push buttons as input switches. One terminal of each push button is connected to ground, GND. The other terminal is connected to Arduino's digital pins, push button one, pin B1, push button two, pin B2 push button 3, pin B3, push button 4, pin B4. When a button is pressed, it sends a low signal to the Arduino, which will be detected in the code. Relay connections. I have used four relays to control different loads. The input pins of each relay are connected to Arduino's digital pins. Relay 1, pin D2, relay 2, pin D3, relay 3, pin D4, relay 4, pin D5. The other side of the relay is connected to the electrical loads, which include a light, two DC motors, and an LED. When the Arduino sends a high signal, the corresponding relay turns on, activating the load. The Sly 5's power pin from the Arduino is connected to the common COM terminal of each relay. This provides power to the relay switching mechanism and ensures proper operation. The normally open NO terminal of each relay is connected to its respective load, meaning the load remains off by default and only turns on when the relay is activated. The relays are connected in series with the load using the common COM and NO normally open terminals. Uh, when the relay is activated, the internal switch closes, allowing current to flow through the load, turning it on. When the relay is deactivated, the internal switch returns to its default open state, breaking the circuit and keeping the load off. This mechanism allows safe and isolated control of high power AC or DC loads using low power signals from the Arduino. Bluetooth module connections. The HC05 Bluetooth module enables wireless control of the relays via smartphone or Bluetooth device. TX transmit of HC05 RX pin zero of Arduino sends data to Arduino. RX receive of HC05 TX pin one of Arduino receives data from Arduino. This establishes serial communication, allowing the Arduino to receive commands and control the relays wirelessly. Now, let's move ahead to the coding section. I have already written the code for this project, and each line is properly commented to help you understand its functionality. The comments explain what each section of the code does, making it easier to modify or customize the project as needed. At the beginning of the code, we first include the necessary libraries if required, and define the pin numbers for the push buttons, relays, and Bluetooth module connections. Then, in the setup function, we initialize the pin modes for inputs and outputs, ensuring the Arduino knows which pins will be used for reading signals and controlling the relays. We also establish serial communication to interact with the Bluetooth module. Each section of the code is well commented, allowing you to easily modify pin configurations, adjust relay control logic, or add new features as needed. Now let's compile the code by clicking the Verify button in the Arduino IDE. If there are no errors, the compilation will be successful. 
If any errors appear, refer to the comments in the code to fix them. Once compiled, we can upload the code and test our Bluetooth home automation project in Proteus. After compiling, we need a hex file for Proteus simulation. You can find it in the bottom section of the Arduino IDE. The file path is displayed there. Simply copy this path and use it in Proteus to upload the code into the Arduino. If you didn't get the hex file path, make sure the correct setting is enabled. Go to File Preferences in the Arduino IDE, then check the box for Show Verbose Output During Compilation. This will ensure the hex file path is displayed at the bottom after compiling. Once done, compile the code again, and you should see the file path. Now let's upload the hex file to Proteus. First, double-click on the Arduino in the simulation to open its properties. In the Properties window, find the Program File section, where you need to paste the hex file path copied from the Arduino IDE. After pasting the path, click OK to save the changes. Once this is done, start the simulation, and your Bluetooth home automation project will begin working as expected. Now we can see that the relays are getting activated. We can control them using the push buttons connected to the Arduino. Let's test this by pressing the push buttons and observing how the relays respond, turning the connected loads on and off accordingly. By pressing the first push button, the first load gets activated. Similarly, when we press the second push button, the second load or motor turns on. This pattern continues where each push button corresponds to a specific relay, allowing us to control the loads manually. The load turns off when we press the same push button again. This means each push button works as a toggle switch. One press turns the load on, and pressing it again turns the load off. Now let's see how to control this project using the Bluetooth module. I have created an app using MIT App Inventor to control the loads wirelessly. In this app, I have added four push buttons, each assigned to control a specific load, along with a connect button to establish a connection with the Bluetooth module. In the block section of MIT App Inventor, we have created a simple block-based code to send specific commands when a button is pressed, allowing us to control the relays remotely. Click on the Build option in MIT App Inventor, then select androidapp.apk to generate the application file. After processing, the APK file will be ready for download. Simply download and install this app on your Android phone to start controlling the relays using Bluetooth. Now we will configure the installed app with Proteus. First, start the simulation in Proteus. Then, open the mobile app, but before that, make sure your computer is paired with your mobile device via Bluetooth. Once paired, click on the Connect button in the mobile application. After the connection process is complete, you can easily control any load using your smartphone, just like you did with the push buttons. This allows seamless wireless control of your home automation system. Now I'm testing random loads using the mobile application, and as you can see, they are responding as expected. This simulation demonstrates how you can wirelessly control appliances using Bluetooth. You can also build this project as real hardware using the same circuit and code, making it a practical and easy to implement home automation system. Also, you can control the load using both Bluetooth and manual control at the same time. You can turn on the load using the mobile app and turn it off using the push button or vice versa. This dual control functionality makes the system more flexible and convenient for real world applications. It ensures that even if the mobile app is not accessible, you can still operate the system manually. This feature is especially useful for home automation, where both remote and physical control are needed for better reliability and ease of use. As you might have faced at the beginning, I also didn't know how to select the correct COM port for Bluetooth communication, but you can easily find it using this method. Go to Device Manager. Then navigate to Ports, COM, and LPT, where you will see the available ports. Look for the one assigned to Bluetooth communication. In my case, the correct COM port is COM3, but it may vary for you, so make sure to check before proceeding. Thanks for watching. I hope this tutorial helped you understand the Bluetooth home automation project in Proteus. If you found this useful, 
Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more such projects. See you in the next one.